Hello, I am Saskia from Boza and I would like to welcome Audrey Tang today. Hello Belgium, I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister in charge of social innovation. If you have listened to people with a different perspective, and listen to them very carefully and consider where they are coming from. Well, even though you might disagree, you always learn something new. In the previous century, through radio and television, one person can speak to millions of people. And now for the first time, millions of people can listen to one another through the internet. Before the internet, when governments want to consult the citizens, it's very time-consuming and it wasn't always easy for citizens to build upon each other's ideas. In Taiwan's experience, we figure out with the right amount of assistive intelligence or AI, the crowd can become a collective intelligence where everybody adds but not detracts from the discussion. And through public digital spaces such as the polis and the joint platforms, Citizens can understand where everybody else is thinking and feeling about and get some rough consensus that everybody can live with. And in the public service, this is how we listen better across ministries and across different sectors. One of the most widely known results is our success against COVID-19. In early 2020, when Taiwan was short on face masks and individuals were panic buying, our government released an API application programming interface to provide the public with real-time location-specific data about mask availability. This led to the creation of Mask Maps, a series of more than 100 interactive applications offering details about which pharmacy has mask in stock updated in real time a creation with the social entrepreneurs and the civic tech communities, Gov0. Similarly, the 192 SMS-based contact tracing system in 2021 was an intuitive app-free design by Gov0, again, very easy to use to check in at public spaces while maintaining one's privacy. Anyone can see whether a contact tracer has accessed their data in the past 28 days. And our experience has shown the digital democracy, motivated by a shared urgency and clarity of purpose, offer unparalleled capacity to deliver outcomes that respond to our emerging challenges. In 2014, there was a definitive moment in our democratic invigoration, the Sunflower Movement where we peacefully occupied the parliament for three weeks to demonstrate a new version of governance to the world, showing how half a million people on the street, a citizen's assembly, assisted by professional facilitation and empowered by civic technologies, can lead to effective democratic action. So right after the Occupy, the government at the time invited us, the civic tech people, to participate in policy making and launch the digital public spaces to make sure that millions of people can listen to one another online. For example, the join platform. Anyone can file there a petition that gathers 5,000 signatures and we regularly hold face-to-face -face collaborative meetings across related ministries to explore ways to incorporate those ideas into policy making. So even those who are too young to vote can nevertheless have a way to start a movement and set a norm. In the past five years, we've held more than 100 such meetings across a network of participation offices in each and every ministry. Whenever a proposal is raised, this collaborative meeting invites the interagency stakeholders and the public and the private sector to jointly create something new. In addition to petitions, our government has also continued to encourage the public to directly invest in social innovation. Taiwan's presidential hackathon has been held for four consecutive years. Each year, thousands of social entrepreneurs and public servants participate alongside teams from dozens of countries to contribute to the public digital infrastructure. Five teams each year receive the trophy, carrying the presidential promise of support in the next fiscal year. To conclude, a digital democracy based on the ideas of listening and skill isn't just government for the people, it is government with the people. We firmly believe the government must first trust the citizens with agenda-setting power and the people can make democracy work. And this is how Taiwan countered the pandemic 
with no lockdowns and the infodemic with no takedowns. Thank you for listening. Live long and prosper. Thank you very much for sharing these experiences and stories with us today. Thank you.